But the e-commerce market in Europe is quite big. Um, everyone shops online just like they do in the US. It is true that uh, Amazon is the biggest marketplace that they have, but they also have local marketplaces. Europe's really known for their local marketplaces. Each country has a different one. Um, but actually how to sell there is exactly the same for Amazon as it is for the other marketplaces. So actually we'll go into a deep dive of how um, you can do this, but um, Europe is there ready for you. And what we find the most common thing is, is that Europe follows the US trends. So as soon as the US starts trending on something, then Europe follows. So by default, if you're doing really well in the US, I would definitely suggest that you start looking into Europe and the possibilities this can give to your, your market and your, you as a seller. Yeah, for sure. The The people that you are helping, do they have a typical size of their business in the U.S. already before it makes sense for them to expand to Europe? Yeah, there's no set algorithm as such, but I would say that you would have to be selling in the U.S. for a couple of years. That would just give you a baseline. It would give you enough reviews as well, because these reviews will then translate to the European market. So you don't start from scratch. Um, so ideally, you want to be selling for a couple of years. Having done well, um, I would definitely suggest because you just need that little bit of cash flow to expand into the European market and just to invest in the VAT numbers that will go into depth in a sec. Um, so there's time, just having sold for a, a bit of time and having the cash flow. Um, and I just want to make sure that all the sellers feel comfortable doing the expansion. The last thing you want is to make this big step and then regret it in, in the future. Um, so if you feel comfortable doing that and you have someone advising you, um, such as a VASC next to you, then I would definitely take the leap. Yeah. So when you say cash flow, are you meaning just having enough cash available? Because obviously you're going to have to add on additional inventory that's going to be sent over to Europe. Exactly. So have cash available is the key thing here. The a cash that you're willing to invest into this expansion, because it's not wasted cash. It's just an investment that you're going to have to do. Um, such as the inventory that you mentioned, you need to start getting your VAT numbers, which um, has to do with taxes, um, shipping costs as well will add up, and then translations of your listings and stuff. So it is a slight investment, but then I think it will pay you off. Yeah, for sure. And so it sounds like you're talking about like private label products that people have made, which is definitely a part of the listening audience. Um, but a lot of people also are selling other people's products on Amazon as well. Do you work with people like that also? Yeah, definitely. And it's the same principle. It's just having your setup ready and then you can do exactly what you're doing now in the US, but you just transfer it to, to Europe. So both would be absolutely fine. Yeah. And I, I think the EU is a good opportunity for private label sellers, but also could be a really big opportunity for a reseller like myself working with a company that's maybe selling really good in the US, but nobody's ever brought it to the EU. Yeah, exactly. And if no one's brought it to the EU, it's going to be in high demand um, because chances are Europeans aren't going to go on to Amazon.com or any US platform and buy from there because shipping costs are just going to be too much and there's going to be duties to pay for. So they just don't even go onto that website. You want to be visible in the European websites so that people buy from you. Yeah. And by default, when you guys are shopping in the, the UK, for example, on Amazon, it doesn't give you the ability to buy stock that's in the US and pay for importing and duties and stuff, right? Like it does for Canada. Exactly. No, you would have to purposely go onto the Amazon US to be able to see those products. Okay. So essentially you're losing out on a, a large market if you're not available in the EU at all. Yeah, exactly. And we actually have a huge statistic here that only 2% of US sellers have expanded into Europe. So that just gives you an idea of the market. It's not saturated. It's ready for you to expand. And there's a whole bunch of clients waiting to buy your products. So 
Yeah, and I, I think that is probably in part because we we're just so comfortable in the U.S. We have such a large market here. Yeah. That we don't necessarily always think about expanding out to Europe. So we're kind of spoiled in the way, I guess, having such a a big market all in one, uh, which isn't normal throughout most of the markets that Amazon is in. 